Welcome to How to Use a Wacom Tablet, Part 1. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. We have a really cool special episode for you guys today. It's actually going to be a two-part episode. We're going to be showing you guys all about how to use a Wacom tablet, why you would want to use a tablet, we're going to be setting it up, and then in part two, we're going to be actually showing you guys how to do everything in Photoshop. So first things first, what is a Wacom tablet? Well, this is a Wacom pressure sensitive tablet right here. This is the Intuos Pro Small, and this is a wireless tablet. Now, basically all this does is it can sit right near your computer. You can use this with a mouse or whatever, and it also comes with a pen that you draw on your tablet with. So this is not something you're drawing on the actual screen, your computer or your laptop or whatever. You have a pen that you put right here on the tablet and that registers basically as a mouse on your display. So instead of using a mouse, instead of using a little trackpad on the computer, you're using this actual pen on the display. So why is that good? The coolest part about the Wacom tablet is that they have pressure sensitivity built into them. Think about it kind of like this. Um, if you were trying to paint a masterpiece and instead of a paintbrush, you had to use a rock. It might be kind of hard because all you'd have was a rock and you just like hit the canvas and you wouldn't really be able to create like a nice expression of yourself with different like lines and shapes and things like that. That's exactly what this pen does when it comes to using a computer. Instead of a mouse, which is just kind of like clicking on or off, you can build in pressure. So that way, if you want a line to start off small, you don't press hard, you can press harder and then end it softer. So you can get a nice smooth line and get quite a bit more detail whenever you're editing in Photoshop or whatever application. The second reason is the pen is actually a lot more intuitive. It takes a little bit of time to kind of get used to using it because people are used to using a mouse. But when you do get used to it, basically you're just holding your pen on the tablet here. And when you move your pen tablet around, it registers with your cursor on the screen. So this becomes your mouse. You don't need to use a mouse anymore. You can still use this. Now it comes with a nice little sand, so you can just pop that in there and still use a mouse if you wanted to. But I really do prefer using, especially when I'm in Photoshop, I'm only using one of these tablets. Guys, there's like a million ways to use these tablets. I'm gonna show you how I have mine set up and it'll get you like a little idea of maybe a good place to start with and then you can kind of tweak it. So the first thing you want to do is install all your drivers, get your software up to date, and then you're going to want to open your preferences for the Wacom tablet. So I'm going to use a Mac. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's probably pretty similar for a PC. So here in our system preferences, all the way down here, we're going to have the Wacom tablet. I'm going to click there, and basically it's going to search for the tablet. Now, I don't have this tablet plugged in. The wonderful thing about this tablet is it's actually wireless. So it's registering completely wireless. There's a little USB key that's plugged in on the side there. So here with my pen, right here on the tablet, I'm gonna start moving this around the screen. And this is where I'm gonna kind of punch in some of my settings. So this is the things that I use. These are the things that I think really work great for Photoshop. This is what I mostly use the pen tablet for. Again, feel free to do your own kind of combination of these things. Okay, my tip feel, I generally go like pretty firm because I, I do press relatively hard on this. It's not something you have to baby. You can really press just about as hard as you want to. And you can see right there, I'm, I'm pressing pretty hard and it's still not even going. I would say the majority of the time I'm, I'm pressing relatively lightly, somewhere right about there. Now, the other option, this is a big one, this double click distance right here. It comes standard, you know, right about there. Now in Photoshop, if you ever try to like double click on a tool or something like that, there's gonna be a little bit of lag. So if you are using this Wacom tablet with Photoshop, 100% I recommend taking this double click distance to off. You don't want this on, it's gonna mess you up for the most part. Tilt sensitivity, I really don't use the tilt that much, so I'm just gonna like keep it where it is. And then here where we have our, um, what your actual like, buttons do. So each of the Wacom tablets comes with, the pens have buttons, and you can use these buttons to kind of like do whatever you want. So I've got two buttons here and I've got them set up. My back button, I've got set up as a keystroke. And you can see you can, you really do quite a bit of things with your back button there. I'm gonna set mine up as a keystroke. Let's click on keystroke here, and we're just gonna, click here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that out. Well, let's hit the clear button. And I'm gonna hit Option Command Z, which is the keyboard shortcut for step back in history. So every time I hit this button, it's going to step back in time. It's like an undo. So if I do something I don't like, I just hit this button on the pen and we're good to go. Type in undo there and hit okay and we're good to go. And with the front click, this is just gonna be right click. So you can click right over here and say clicks and then right click. So. I'm gonna click here with my front and it's gonna right click and this is gonna be undo. Set it to whatever you want, but that's how I like it. 
The next biggest thing we're gonna cover, guys, is mapping. And that's basically, instead of having to use like 100% of your screen and 100% of your tablet, you can kind of configure that to basically get whatever you want. And we're gonna click over here on mapping. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. So I've got it using 100% of my screen area. So my screen area is set to full. But you can see here my tablet is set to portion. And the reason I do this is it totally depends on how you like to use your mouse. So if you're coming straight from a mouse to a tablet, if you're using your mouse and you like to do like big sweeping gestures, you're gonna wanna use a larger area of your tablet. But if you'd like to keep your mouse in a relatively small place, like if you like your mouse sensitivity to be a little bit higher, you're gonna want to change your screen area because the area of your Wacom tablet actually correlates to what's on your screen. So I've got most of my Wacom tablet disabled. What that does is basically I only use about, you know, something about this size of my Wacom tablet. So I don't have to move my hand much. I'm really just like moving it right over here and that's gonna basically just affect my entire screen. So here where we wanna choose the, we can choose portion there and then you can just kinda like click here and build the portion you want. So if you have a large area, you're gonna bring your cursor up to the bottom, top left and the bottom right, right about there. But building this a little bit smaller, there we go. Now you can see, and you can change your aspect resolution and everything like that. Building it a little bit smaller, you can see, I'm just moving my hand around just in this like little small area, and it's actually covering my entire screen. So it just keeps my hand from having to like do this all the time in Photoshop. Most of the time I'm doing any type of big editing, my pen is probably moving back and forth less than an inch. So we'll hit OK, and there we go. So the eraser, I don't really use the eraser that much. I don't find flipping this around and hitting this it really does anything for me. So that's pretty much it with the actual settings themselves. So the pen setting, again, make sure you have your double click distance turned off. I love having undo as my back button, and then my mapping, I use a relatively small portion. Now that being said as well, I use this Intuos Pro small and I really don't use a whole lot of the actual surface of the tablet. So I wouldn't buy a medium personally because I don't even use most of the small. So that's kind of my like little advice there. If you if you find yourself having like really pressure, really sensitive mouse movements and things like that, like you'd like to not move, move your hand a whole lot, then you can go with the small and you can even set that size there and you'll be perfectly happy with that. So guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to the software. It's relatively simple, it's super easy to use. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but the actual application of using it is just picking it up and doing this. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. It's to show you how I use a Wacom tablet in Photoshop. And I mean this with 100% of my heart. If I didn't have a Wacom tablet, I don't think I would do Photoshop anymore. I really do mean that. It's 100% essential. If you guys have been watching Flurn, you can see all the way from episode number one, I've had a Wacom tablet right beside my computer. Every time I open up Photoshop, I've got a tablet. The just control and the pressure sensitivity and everything that it gives you is like completely unreplaceable. So if you guys are interested in the exact tablet that I use, this is a Wacom Intuos Pro small. We'll put a link up here so you guys can pick one up if you want to. If you're looking to save a little bit of money, there are lesser expensive versions that also work really, really well. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, please leave them in a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and uh, we'd love to know how your tablet use is going. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, and we'll flirt you later. Make sure to subscribe to our channel.